Due to complaints about the language used last episode, we've decided to replace all offensive words with kinder, gentler words. We hope you friendly enjoy it. What? Guess that's why my legs hurt. Maybe if somebody carried me home, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Hmm. I'm going to switch things up and use a random sailing metaphor to say that I like your style. Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on, let's saddle up, lady. The slimy sparrow gestures at her scooter. It won't be the last time I say this, but we should both fit. I think. Before I go anywhere with you, I need to know your name. Koshiba Azami. I'm a gun for hire. I sell takoyaki. I mean, call me Azami. Didn't thank you, Azami. Oh, you're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both our lives. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. Oh my god, this sparrow's gonna tell me her life story. I'm sure you've got some nice elaborate backstory, but at this rate, I probably should have just walked. Do you think we'll get there before the bright time comes? I said carve it into your soul! The speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. A bird's gotta know her limitations. Haha, <laughs> joke's on you, we're already breaking the law. Might as well throw one more on the barrel. That rule is for humans. Birds are light. So one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. But I'm not a cool bird! And so we putted along at Azami's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. <laughs> I wish I could just go to gym class so I didn't have to do this homework. It worked for me during the school year. Maybe I should go work minimum wage at a soul-crushing retail job. I'll... Hey, remember that time you picked something, Yoko? Do it! I'll get a job. I think I saw a flyer at the station hiring high school students over the summer. It was the cafe, right? It is fluffy, gorgeous in here. Oh, my sweet Aunt Petunia's feathers. Excuse me, little ass, we ain't open. You get your butt out this door. We ain't even open till noon. Oh, sorry. I was here to ask about selling my soul to the corporate machine. The proprietor of the cafe is an extremely elegant parakeet. A true gentle bird, without a doubt. Oh, God, apparently I'm into old birds, not just birds. Ugh. All the students at school are confetti annoying, and all the teachers are weird. Breakfast. Ain't nobody work here. All we do is drink moonshine and lay around. I can't even pronounce my own name. I'm Hyoko Tosuka. Oh wait, backwards. I'm Tosuka Hyoko. Ah! Kind of unusual to see a human in these parts. I thought there were only birds around here in a bird dating sim. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Are you just gonna give me this job? That seems really suspicious and unwise. Ah, uh, you look like you drink a lot. I don't need to test that. Little lady, how many cows are you roped? I'm too old and fat to move boxes and coffee and tea. I'll be glad to. After all, I went to gym class, thus raising my vitality staff. I ain't got no money to pay you, but I pay you in chocolate fudge. Y'all ready to start tomorrow? Sure, I'll start after I meet my dealer. See, this is why you should have done a drug test. Very diddly tasty. I'll be waiting for you here in my cage. Alone. With no friends. See you tomorrow, Miss Yoko. I'll be here. Today's my first day working as a corporate cog. I think I'll leave early, so I can pretend I'm trying to make a good impression, even though I'm not.
Top of the morning to you, Miss Yoko. Oh, hi, Uncle Zimus. Let me start by showing you where all the booze are. That's all you'd be doing here, after all, when you're not carrying around tea and coffee for my fat asparagus. He shows me around the cafe, explaining everything inside. The shop is small, and since he's super OCD, everything has to be in its place. Everything. Well then, what do you think? I quite like the tree with the little birdies in it. It's kind of cute. It's very nice. A lot nicer than my cave, for sure. There's only three people allowed in my drinking dungeon, and that's me, myself, and I. Actually, compared to my how? Excuse me. Um, I saw the flyer at the station, and... Conflict! Oh, no! Yoko, w what are you doing here? Oh, God, now there's more people here! Oh, yes, this is my bottom... Bull. Uh, you came for the job, too? Who said you could work? Why can't I just drink in peace? Yeah, I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit it in after my other job. My night job. The joke is bird prostitution. Um, Mr. Rushihara, could you use two people? Um, sadly, my cage is too small. It only fits me. I should wait for that voice from above to tell me what to pick. I'm just trying to support my family here. I will fight you for this job, Yoko. Find me on Lake Michigan. Mr. Rushihara, that's funny. Boy needs this job more than me. Yoko? What? Ah, oh, hell no. I ain't working with that loser. I don't really need the job, but Ryota does. Don't worry, he's a hard worker. Are you sure, Yoko? <laughs> <laughs> I do feel a little bad leaving on my first day, too. But, eh, Ryota's an okay guy, I guess. He does work several jobs to help support his mom. Mr. Rushihara ain't that big of a asshole. So, you know, Ryota's probably better off. I know you'll do a good job, Ryota. Thanks, Yoko. Sucker. Well then, thanks for dropping off this loser for me. I'll be sure to make him do everything that I don't want to do. Which is everything. You look like a better drinking buddy than this guy, so please do stop by. Wow, if that's how much you talk, I'm glad I quit. Today's the local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. Invite. Which of these birds do I want to get it on with? I'll give you two dollars if you just hurry up. Because by now we should really have picked the route. Thanks for inviting me, Hiyoko. Come on, let's go. So many boots. Are you able to do any of these games without opposable thumbs? Use your hunter-gatherer instincts, Hiyoko. Let's go find something to eat. I'll pay. With my bird money. I guess. What? No fair. I paid for yours. It's a deal. Hmm, some weird Japanese treat sounds good right about now. Hey, that's Falcon! Birdist! Hey, guys, can I be in the episode too? N no? Oh, alright then. And so I somehow spent an entire evening with Ryota. I wonder if there are any more festivals we can go to this year, because that seems to be half of our lives. I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I way overslept and I have to go back to that pecking stupid school today. Oh! Hello, Tosaka. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I overslept. Overslept? Ah! My homework. I forgot to bring my homework. All right. Calm down there, Lady Spazalot. Huh? What's the number in the top left-hand corner say? What is this meta malarkey? Did we just go full-on fluffy? Ferris Bueller breaking the gosh diddly. Fourth wall, what the fuck? I can't believe it. 
he actually broke the anti-bad language machine. Well, shit. Oh. You're just a little bit early. Ah. But I've got a body, uh, present that I need help hiding if, uh, if you're interested. Lend you a hand? I was gonna ask if you wanted to help me grade exams, but then I remembered you can't even understand your own fucking tests! Of course, you have a test in September, so if you want to go and study in the library... Greater study, greater study. I know you and I have had our differences, but pick something! Greater study, greater study, greater study. Forgive me, sir, but I need to go home. I must return to my people with the spoils of war, lay my bloody sword at the feet of my great king, and celebrate my conquest of all the lands from here to distant Macedonia. Oh yeah? H have fun with that. Oh, what's good, pigeons and crows? Y'all had fun this summer or no? Oko-san is always having fun! <laughs> what is this fun? I know only the ways of nobility. Who the fuck doesn't know what fun is? Once summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay... focused. Focus, sir! Focus! Is that a student ID? Whose is it? Someone from 2-2? Not a name I recognize. Should I go find their classroom? They might have already gone home, though. Well, I guess I could take it to one of these awful teachers. Hello? Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Hello, Hyoko. Did you forget to turn in your homework? I found someone's ID card, sir. It's someone from 2-2. I thought I should take it here. Finally, I can put my plan of identity theft into motion, yes, oh. A wiggity what? What is it? Huh? Oh, nothing. No, I'm not accusing you of anything. Why would you say that? Yeah, out the hallway. I just said that. This student hasn't been here since June. You straight up murdered them, didn't you? So why did nobody notice it lying there? No body. Body. It's awfully clean, though. Shouldn't it at least be dusty? Man, I really can't trust you with anything, can I? Whatever you did, I'll handle it. Guess what day it is today, and guess what I'm gonna do. You only get one. Attend. Don't pick gym class. Don't pick gym class. Don't you dare pick gym class. What the fuck? Today is Bounce Bounce White Ball Day. Cool. Take this, Oko-san Smash! How about you? Kyoko leveled up. Vitality increased. It was a productive day. Time to go home and indulge in idleness and debauchery. Hey, Yoko. Finally you talk to me, it's been forever. Want to walk home together? Though, if you were going somewhere else... I... It's my route, you have no choice. <laughs> you would love to. You would love to. The sun's going down already. I guess it's fall now. The most elegant of seasons. Hey, look, a swallow. The most elegant of birds. They're supposed to be done rearing chicks by the start of summer. I guess all birds are changing now. I guess so. The chicks are really small. That reminds me of something from a long time ago. Me too. Thank you, Yoko. When I was young, I found Ryota freezing on the ground after falling out of his mother's nest. Doves breed all year round. No wonder they're everywhere. 
That was how we met, right? When I found you flopping around in the dirt and carried you back up to your nest. Th that's mean. Thinking about it, if I hadn't walked by then, you'd be dead. Though, you're still not exactly the healthiest bird around. Yeah. Thank you, Hyoko. If you hadn't found me then, I wouldn't be here now. I remember as if it were yesterday. Ever since, I've... I've always loved your kindness and monkey tree climbing jeans. And you're just the same as you were then. Never change, okay? <laughs> Whoa, 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 who told you guys you could have a moment? Get back to the dumb jokes. Jeez, you'd think the editor would have fixed that. Right? Today's the school fe- Wait, what? We just had the sports festival, like, 20 minutes ago. Someone needs to tell me why I keep losing time. I'm a lazy fucking bum, so I'm just gonna look around. Where to go? Where to go? Let's see. Yoko, wait! And please, for the love of God, don't laugh at me. <laughs> What's up, Ryota? Are you free right now? We've got way more customers than we expected, and we could really use another waitress. Y you're right. Where are they all coming from? From the bowels of hell. Leave it to me, Ryota. I'll give them a taste of my super maid technique. And so, I never ended up looking around the festival. Only maids now. Wait, I'm Hyoko. I window shop too much. Now it's dark. Meh. Huh? Who's that hottie handing out flyers? <gasps> what are you doing, Ryota? You look adorable. No, no. This is my job. Bird prostitution. All right, I can see it. You're misunderstanding. It's just a... Tr <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think it would say that. <laughs> it's just a transvestite cafe. Again. I'm not misunderstanding at all. We need the money. Here, you take a flyer too. Uh, um. <coughs> <coughs> oh god. I think I'm dying of old age. I don't want to be judgy. So, I'll ask for you when I go. Thank you. I'll be waiting, Yoko. Oh, and my name at work is Kuleen, so address me with that. What the fuck is my life? Kuleen? Really? That's the best you could come up with? See you later, Kuleen. I'll tip you, big little lady. Ryota, walk home with me. Short leash, remember? Um, sorry. I need to go somewhere right now. Maybe later? Okay. Is something wrong, Ryota? It's nothing. Don't worry about it, Yoko. His smile is incredibly unconvincing. But if he doesn't want me worrying about it, worrying about it won't do any birdie any good. Maybe I'll go to the arcade. Ah, uh, that was fun. I haven't played in a while. I should practice some new songs to get back into the game. Huh? What's Ryota doing over there? And why is he coming out of... The hospital? <coughs> Ryota, were you... Hyoko. Hyoko, I want to talk to you. Is now a good time? Of course! What is it? Um, well, sorry, I'm not sure how to say this. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Thanks. My mother isn't doing well. She was never very healthy. She did always used to catch colds during the winter. <laughs> yeah, even though does are supposed to fare better in the cold than in heat. She's been getting worse ever since the end of September. After a certain point, I couldn't take care of her on my own. So she's in the hospital now. 
and that's where you've been going after school. I hope she gets better soon, Ryota. She won't. She... She won't? You're crying. Sorry for holding you up, Yoko. Z see you. Ryota! And so he fled. Into the night. Now that, that sad shit's out of the way, we get our finals back. Between midterms and practice exams, this whole semester has been nothing but fucking tests. Oh boy, here we go again. Sir? You're getting better. What kind of crazy-ass world have I stumbled into? Yes, sir! Somebody sent me a text message. It's from... Ryota. Meet me in the park at 7. What's going on? I hope it isn't something bad. Spoilers. Ryota, I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Nope. Sorry for dragging you out like this, Yoko. What is it? Is your mother okay? Yeah, she's fine now. Thanks. She said, you're old enough already. Go spend the day with someone important. And wouldn't let me back into her room. Going home is too lonely. So I thought maybe if I talked to you, I'd feel a little better. So you called me? Do you feel better? Yep. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Sitting out here on Christmas Eve is kind of sad. Want to go somewhere? I don't mind, Ryota. Anywhere is fine with you. And so, Ryota and I spent the evening sitting together in the park. It wasn't very Christmassy, but I didn't mind. Happy fucking New Year! But it's raining. Oh well. I'd go to the shrine, but this weather makes the wilderness... Where do I live? I won't be able to send out my fucking cards in this rain either. Gosh darn it! Project.